my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger. So our activities that we do every day are just a little easier to do. Before you begin this or any other exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor. And he'll tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. You'll also want to wear loose, comfortable clothes like Carol and I have on so that when you bend and stretch, you don't feel restricted in any way. Also, you'll want to have water that we drink before, during, and after our time together. And you want to work at your own pace. If Carol and I are moving too quickly for you, you slow down. If you get out of breath, if you feel any pain, then you want to stop right away. But then you can rejoin us again when you're feeling a little better. You want to make sure you're not bouncing or not forcing any moves. And you'll want to listen to your body. So if your body says, if we're doing like eight repetitions and your body says three is good, then stay with three. But if you work consistently with us, you'll get better and better and be able to do a lot more. Now, you'll notice that Carol and I are sitting in chairs. We have good sturdy chairs. Carol's chair has arms and mine doesn't. So whether your chair has arms or not, it's okay. The one thing you want to do is make sure there's no rockers on it or you're not going to move forward or back. So you want a good, sturdy, solid chair. Also check your area because we're going to be stretching and reaching and throwing pillows. You'll want to make sure you're not going to crash into everything. So you want to make sure there's no chandeliers above you, nothing on the table on either side of you, and that there's no stacks of magazines or a sleeping cat beside you by your feet because we're going to be moving our feet. Also, you'll want to make sure that you smile because you feel great if you just smile. And it actually makes the exercises feel a lot better. So remember, you can do it a little at a time. If you eat well, like fruits and vegetables and all those great things, you'll feel better when you exercise. So today, you've got your doctors okay, you've got loose, comfortable clothes on, you have water, you're going to go at your own pace, breathing comfortably, and you're going to listen to your body. So with that, we're going to work with pillows today, so you're going to run around the house and get a pillow. Before I go any further, let's meet Carol. Hi, I'm Carolyn. I'm so happy to be with you today. I can't tell you how much I enjoy exercising. I've noticed that it really does help the body. I have arthritis in my legs, and in fact, I have an, uh, a, a hip replacement, and it really, really has helped me to make the best of the situation. And I hope that you know that we do whatever we do the best we can. And everyone is different. So what's good for you may not be good for me. But when I start doing the exercises, I know when to stop and I know when to start. And you should be able to do the same thing. Now, here's Mary. I've taken up enough time. <laughs> it's always nice to hear from Carol. So today we are working with pillows. You can choose a fancy pillow, if you have fancy pillows. You can choose a little fun pillow. You can choose a square. I'm sorry. <laughs> sitting on it. <laughs> sorry. You can choose a square pillow or a round pillow. Any pillow will do. You can get a big pillow, a small pillow. It's whichever pillow works for you. So, before we begin with our pillows, because we are going to be holding them with our hands, we need to make sure our hands are ready for action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, are you ready? Okay, away we go. So, we're going to warm up our hands just by opening and closing our fingers. This is really an important exercise to do because many times our hands are cupped in like this, either on the keyboard or holding a coffee or teacup or holding a book or a steering wheel. A lot of times they're cupped in. So we really want to open those fingers wide and spread our fingers far apart. There you go. I have arthritis, just a little arthritis now, in my left thumb. So this makes it a little bit more agile if I keep doing it. It makes it a lot easier. 
you're right. And if you start slowly, like if my fingers were hurt, and I do have to tell you this, while I'm doing this, I have one of those trigger fingers, so if I go like this, I might have to go, Ooh. you know, your trigger fingers are when your finger bends down, and it's really hard to get up. So if I go just a little, I just make a little tiny fist. It's kind of a cat claw. And then if I make it a little tighter, okay, because my muscles and joints and ligaments and tendons are warming up. And then if I make a squeezing fist and open wide, a squeezing fist and open wide, then I can do it. But of course, you'll notice that Carol and I are going very, very slowly. Good work. Okay, let's keep our hands wide and roll both fingers to one side and then the other. Now we're working on our wrists. And you're going to feel this in the wrist and all the way up the forearm. Good work. Now we're going to hold our fingers straight up to the sky and bring them forward and down. There you go. That's perfect. It's like we're at the ball and like somebody might want to kiss the back of our hands. Do they still do that? It would be nice. <laughs> so our shoulders are back and down, and we're sitting nice and tall in our good, sturdy chair. And now we're going to make a circle with our fingers. So our fingers are up. We go out and down and in. There you go. And do your best. If your wrist is saying, I've had quite enough, that's okay. And now we're going to go in the opposite direction. There you go. Always taking your time, relaxing your shoulders, breathing, breathing, breathing. And now we're going to shake our hands out like we have water on our fingers. There you go. Perfect. How do your hands feel? They feel much better. Okay. Looser. Good. So we worked on our fingers. We worked on our wrists. Now we're going to work on our elbow. So our hands are down. Our thumbs are forward. We bring our thumbs up and then the pinkies down. Up and down. Now the muscle we're working on is our bicep. So if you say to yourself, golly, I'm not sure where my bicep is. Well, you can tell by placing two fingers right, right on here. the front of your arm between your elbow and your shoulder. And if you push those fingers down, when you curl your fingers, other fingers up to the shoulder, you're going to feel that muscle tighten up. Good. So that's your bicep. Yeah. Good. And now we're going to relax and shake it out. So we did our fingers, our wrists, our elbow. Now we're working our shoulders. So we're going to pull the shoulders up and down. Shoulders up and down. Uh, I really like this. I, and I am with Carol 100% because when I relax my shoulders, I really like to audibly uh, go, breathe in, breathe out, ah. Breathe in and audibly, ah. In. Makes it, feel, feel uh, it makes it feel better. Mm. Now, we're going to do something different. Pull the elbows up, shoulders up, and pull them back and down oh. your back. Good job. Feels good. Doesn't down that feel the good? Back. Shoulders yes. up and back and down. Good work. Shoulders up to your ears, way back and squeeze them together oh. towards your spine and allow the shoulder blades to sink down right into your back pockets. Shoulders up and back and down, yay. Now one shoulder up and one shoulder down. There you go. Now if you flex your hand, this is kind of a jazz hand move, isn't it? Yep. Because I took dancing lessons from Gloria Rossetti. And so this is like a jazz <laughs> hand. There you go, shoulder up and down. Good work. And now shake your whole arm out. So we have our arms right from our fingertips all the way to our shoulders relaxed. Now we're going to want to work our whole upper body by leaning forward and back a little bit, so we're gonna work on the hips. We're gonna take the hands on the thighs to prevent from the low back from taking too much of the work. So we're gonna lean forward a little bit and back a little bit. And because we have our hands right on our knees, we're not going to be able to go back too far, which is kind of a good thing because <laughs> we're going to protect the back. So we protect the back as we lean forward and give the back a good stretch. And then we protect the back, but we work on the abdomen to try to pull us oh. up from leaning back a bit. There you go. And you want to remember that if you have a strong tummy, that will help you have a strong back because it's the opposite muscle group. 
Now we're going to hold it center and we're going to go into rotation. So our Ooh. elbows are tight. We're going to hold a package and we're going to give the package to the person over on this side of us and then they don't want it. So we give it to the person on the other side of us. There you go. This is great for the waist. Too. It is great for the waist. If we did it really fast, it would be a waist whittler. <laughs> And don't they have a saying, waste not want not? Waste not want. There you go. So we have our package. Our elbows are down. We're sitting nice and tall with our ears right over our shoulders and our shoulders right over our hips. And our knees are right in front of our hips and our feet are under our knees. We are in good posture. <laughs> there you go. Last time to the side and last time to the side. Perfect. Okay, we're going to want to warm up the upper body, which we did. So now we're going to warm, warm up the lower body. And we do it by just tapping the toes nice and easily. There you go. That's perfect. Dun, dun. If you had music, it's great. It is. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And we're going to tap our toes out and in. Out, in, out, in. When you tap your toes out, you feel a nice stretch on the inside of the ankle and the inside of the foot. Mm. When you bring your toes in, you feel a nice stretch on the outside of the ankle and the outside of the foot. And then we hold our feet flat and lift the heels. So now we're going to lift the heels. You'll notice when you lift the heels, you feel the back of the leg contract. So now we're going to bring the heels out and in. So it's out and in, out and in. And again, when you bring your heels out and in, when they go out, you feel a nice stretch on the outer thigh, the outer ankle. But if you're really going, it can go all the way up to the leg. And you, you can... I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. You can do the Charleston. <laughs> that's part of the Charleston. I love it. And now we relax our feet. We're going to lean back a little and bring one leg up and down. As we lean back and lift the leg, our stomachs tighten up. Can you feel that a little bit? So now we're working on our thighs. We're working the joint of the hip. There you go. We are all and warmed up. And that stomach. I and love working on that. I need to work on that stomach. So okay. This is good for us. It is. It's good for your stomach. And rocking makes you feel good. I love rocking. <laughs> Okay, now our feet are going to be flat, and because we worked our hips, we haven't worked our knees, darn. So we reach out with the heel and in, out with the heel and in. So now we're getting our knees warmed up, because once we work with the pillow and our upper body, we're going to add the lower body. And then the whole body is happy, Yay. because you're nobody till somebody, somebody. loves you. <laughs> And I love you, so heck, and Carol loves you, sure do. so you're somebody. <laughs> okay, and relax. Great job. Okay, let's get our pillows. Unless, of course, you'd like something to drink before then. Shall we take a sip? I would. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to take a drink. This is and really is. important. Water is so important. It is. And it feel good, too. I mean, when I was growing up, I never realized. I would say to mother, my mother, oh, my boyfriend broke up with me. She'd say, have a glass of water. You'll feel better. <laughs> I'd say, I've got a headache. I don't want to go to school. Have a glass, glass of, water. of water. You'll feel better. So I happen to know that water is the miracle for me. It is okay, let's grab good. our pillows. Again, like you can have a small pillow. One. The fancy. Carol has the fancy pillow, fancy. and it's round, so I'm going to get the square pillow. Okay. So it doesn't matter whether you have a square pillow or a round pillow, a big pillow or a little pillow. If you've got a pillow and it's nice and squishy, yay. So we have our pillow and we simply hold it to the sides and we push in and push in again. Good. Push. Relax. Push. Now you're going to feel this right in through here on the inside of the arm and starting on the chest or your pec. Pectoral muscles. Pectoral Whoa. muscles. So we're pushing in. We now go. we're going to add a pull. So we push in, we grab the pillow and pull out. We push, make a squeeze and pull. Push, squeeze, Ooh. pull. And push, squeeze and pull. pull. Good work. Now you're going to shake your hands out because that yep. was a lot of work. We added, we were just working the hands, and then we added the fingers. So we're going to push the palms down, and you're going to push, push, push. Now a lot of things are happening. 
Carol and I are rocking forward, our arm from our shape, shoulder to our wrist is stable. Mm -hmm. And so we walk, rock forward to push the palms huh. down. Our fingers are lifted up, so we're getting a good stretch on the palm and the fingers. So we're going to be squeezing again. We want these muscles stretched out. Also what's happening is if Carol and I push down really hard with our arms, I feel it a bit in my stomach, do you? Mm -hmm. So it's an unwitting yes. abdominal uh, exercise. Can you use that? Okay, now you're going to relax and squeeze your fingers into the pillow. Just get a good squeeze -roo. There you go. Like if this was a dog, if this were a dog, oh. your dog would love this. Squeeze his dick. There you go. Actually, if I was getting a, a shampoo, I would love this. <laughs> or if somebody like did this on my shoulders, oh, I'd love shoulders, it. Shoulders, yes. All righty. And then we relax. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to take our pillow and we're going to hold it sideways because we're going to hold our pillow sideways and like this. But we're going to hold it sideways right now. Our shoulders are back and down. And with the pillow, we're going to come down and touch the front of our knees, if that's okay with you, and then bring it up under the chin. So it goes knees and chin, knees and chin. Good. So now, remember when we worked our elbows, we're working our elbows again. And thank heavens this is a light pillow. <laughs> it's down and up and yeah. down and up. Now we're going to bring it down to our knees and up to one shoulder. Are you ready? It goes up to one shoulder, down to the knees, up to the other shoulder, down to our knees. So this is kind of a chopping fashion. You'll notice that Carol and I are both facing forward. If we said to ourselves, gosh, I would like to work a little more than that. What we'll do is when we bring the pillow up to the shoulders, we'll do a little bit of a twist. Not very much, just a little bit. And you may say to yourself, gosh, turning to one side is a little easier than the other. Just remember that is normal. And remember, just doing your best, that's fantastic. Even moving a little bit, you feel so much better. Here's your last one, and come on down. Ah, push those hands down, Whoa. push down, there you go. And we're spreading our fingers wide because our fingers have been just wrapped around this pillow, holding on. Now our shoulders are back and down, we're giving our fingers a break. Now we're gonna hold the pillow side to side. So you're gonna flip it over, and so you're holding it side to side, kind of like a pancake. This is like a really big pancake. That's a really big pancake. <laughs> okay, shoulders back and down, sit tall. And we're going to do exactly what Carol was doing. We're flipping it over. You can think of a pancake, but whenever I flip anything over, it's usually a grilled cheese. Mm. I don't know about you, but when I make grilled cheese, I always wait till the cheese melts. melts. And then when I flip it over, I burnt that side. <laughs> Doggone it. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to bring it side to side, straight arms. Push and push. So remember when we did that rotation? This yep. is another rotation, except our hands are extended. Our arms are a little straighter. There you go. Good work. And I think all the exercises that we did in the beginning with our fingers and our wrists help us to be stronger when we did the pushing. That's absolutely true, absolutely true. Thank you for that, Carol. Now we're gonna make a figure eight, diving down Whoa. and up and over. Now I don't know Whee! about you, but my shoulders are starting yeah, to feel this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so we only have two more of these, and now one more after this, and we are done. So we're gonna give ourselves a break and shake out, shake, shake out, shake take out. Take a deep breath. Good work. That's good. A great big breath I like in. To take a deep breath. Exhale. Ah. ah. Great big breath in. Pat yourself. I think you should be proud of yourself. We've been doing really good. You're right. And it's sometimes hard to start moving, but if you can do a little each day, right. yippee. So now we're going to take the pillow and put it in one hand uh -oh. and flip it over to the other hand. There you go. Good. Whoa. Now, if you're saying to yourself, gosh, I'd like to work a little harder, 
Carol and I say, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to flip it over. Now, here's the key. Having your fingers wide. Flip it over to the wide base. Lift it up and down three times. Two. Two. And three. three. Flip Woo! it over. Whoa. Uh -oh. One. One. Now, Carol has a disadvantage because that's a slippery fabric. Three. Yeah, it's... Uh, and over. Set. And up. <laughs> Two, Two, three, three. and over. Last okay. time, one. Two, three, three. and release. Whoosh. So oh, let's give our was arms. Fun. That was kind of fun. But now we're going to add our upper body. So again, if you want to do the hand moves without using the pillow, if your arms and hands are a little sore, then you can just do the leg work or you could not use the pillow and do the arm work. So you decide what's best for you. Carol and I are going to add our pillows. And remember when we tapped forward with a heel, we're going to do that again without the pillow for four. One and two and three and four. Now we're going to push the pillow forward and two and three and four. Good work. One and two. We're reaching out with our heel. Now reach out with the toe. Tap out with the toe. Good work. Tap out with the toe. Add the pillow. Out. Here we go. And out. And as you tap out with the toe, you're going to feel a nice stretch on the muscles on the side of your shin, of the front of the lower right. leg. Good. Tap out and out and out. And you are done. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> that is great. Would you care for a little water? Yes, I would. Okay, me too. I'm so glad you asked. Make sure you drink your water. Yeah. And if you don't like water and you like juice. Any liquid, but water Any liquid, is... but you want to start doing three quarters juice, one quarter water, and then half juice, half water, <sighs> and then one quarter juice, three quarters water, and that's how you get to love water. I mean, if you don't already. Okay, we're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, are you ready? Okay, off we go. We're going to do some abdominal work. Ooh. We're going to slide our buttocks towards the front of the chair. We're going to hold our pillow. Our spines are nice and long, but when we go back, so we're nice and tall in our chair, when we go back, the chin stays parallel to the floor. We drop the ribs, tighten the belly so that the low back doesn't arch up. And then we lift up using our stomachs, and we're nice and tall, ear, shoulder, and hip. If you're ready, here okay. we go. We're going back a little and up. Good. Back a little and up. That's it. Back a little. Be careful of your back, and this will help you have a nice, strong stomach. And of course, if your stomach's really strong, you could come to my house for dinner. But you have Yum. to have a really strong stomach. Because <laughs> I, like, make stuff up when I cook. Uh-oh. <laughs> Reaching back. Now, do you like to cook, Carol? Yeah, I do. But um, I don't always have enough time because I'm so busy exercising. Ah. So that's my excuse. No, I do. I like to cook. I like to bake. But then the problem is we eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't mind, you know, I'm from an Italian family and oh. uh, you gotta know how to cook because you <laughs> sure know how to eat. That's great. <laughs> okay, now we're going to give ourselves a break by placing the pillow on the thighs, placing the forearms on the pillow, sitting nice and tall and leaning forward. Ah, oh, so this nice. should feel just dandy because the last part of this is when we're going to add the whole entire body. When we extend our arms, we're going to lift one knee. And if you can't, that's okay. If you can just rise up on the toe, that's okay. Just do whatever works for you. Because if you do it again and again, and you work with us day after day, you'll find yourself getting really strong that's and right. flexible. And the thing is, when you get strong and flexible, you feel a little more confident. So now we're going to hold it. Our shoulders are relaxed and down. We're going to lean back as we pick a knee up. And remember, when we lean back, we drop our chin so it's parallel to the floor. We make sure we're not arching our backs. Our shoulders are back and down, so we're not shrugging our shoulders up. And of course, we're breathing. I never understood that, really, because 
when I was certified, they'd say, remind everybody to, to breathe. breathe. <laughs> and I'd think to myself, if they're not breathing, I would like have to do CPR, and I haven't had to do that. <laughs> So if I forget to tell you to breathe, please remember to breathe. Okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. But it's good also to breathe out right now. Whoosh. Breathe in. Breathe out. But some people normally breathe in the opposite, and that's okay too. Last one. Good. Last one on the other side. And you are done. done. Could you feel Whee. that? So that got the stomach, our shoulders are back and down, we got the legs, and now I'm thinking to myself, gosh, we really need to do a little more rotation. The rotations we were doing were when we were sitting nice and tall. What we're going to do now is lean back a little bit. We're gonna bring the pillow to one hip, up over our thighs and over to the other hip, all while we're leaning back. Now, if you're leaning back and your back hurts, you may wanna add a pillow. Also, <laughs> if you're leaning back and your back hurts, you might want to sit up a little taller. Right. So you decide, let's see, hmm, how far am I going to lean back? Mm. You want to make sure safety is the number one thing. So we want to make sure we do not hurt ourselves. There you go. And one to the side, one to the side. Ah. That's a lot of work. You know, my body is feeling nice and loose now. Perfect. Just doing these simple exercises. You don't have to do them to the fullest if you can't. Every little bit helps. That's so true. Every little bit helps. So we're going to flip our hands over and try to bring our fingernails down, down, down. And you can feel how it opens up that palm. Wow. Bring the thumbs down towards the floor. Feel that whole palm stretch. That is so good. Now here's the best thing about working with a pillow. We're going to take it and put it behind our back. Oh, and we're going to scoot our little fannies best. back. Ah, that lean feels back so into the good. pillow. We'll interlace the fingers and push the palms away. We'll draw both palms to one side and look away from the hands. Slowly we come back to center, breathing in, shoulders relaxed. Exhale, hands to the other side and look away. One more time forward. Now we're going to go all the way up. Go up as far as you can, a little to one side. Feel a gentle stretch. Back to center, please, and a little to the other side. There you go. Slowly come back to center and relax the hands down. Now remember when we did those shoulders, we're going to pull the shoulders up, back, and down. Doesn't that feel good? Ah. And we're going to extend one it. leg out. Reach up. Float the hand down and gently slide the hand down, making sure you're supported on the other side. And then slowly, slowly come back to center. Good work. Lift and lengthen. Float down and slide down. Good job. What a good job you did today. So we're going to shake everything out. If we have any cares and worries, shake them away. Good. Let's take a great big breath in, gathering goodness, blessings, and miracles, and fill our hearts right up. And then we're going to shake any more cares or worries we have out. Gather goodness from the earth. Fill your heart right up. And now you have too much goodness. Take that extra goodness and share it with the world just by being kind. Great job. You did a good job. And know that all will be well. Yay! Yay. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.